The magnitude of risk that a municipality is exposed to is being refined all the time. All the time. We're getting more information about the, 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 the type of risk that municipalities are exposed to and the accuracy of, of those, those risk predictions. If you do the case study and then when you work your way through it, kind of one of the final things you want to do is then push the chair back and say, okay, if we knew all this when we started, how would we do it different? And so you have this continuous improvement program. It's never going to be completed. Um, I think climate change is, is always going to be happening. And so we, um, we are going to be continuously revising and reviewing um, both the climate science that went into the development of our strategy, as well as the adaptation actions um, that we identified as something that we're going to continue with. Um, because if there's change in science or there's change in the predictions, then we obviously have to adapt our strategy to be able to adapt to the change in the climate. Asset management and the planning process is more than simply uh, developing a plan. You have to build in that cycle whereby you're revisiting the plan and also monitoring progress. The next phase will have to include indices and measures of progress and measures of success. So how do you know that you're actually reducing risk? How do you know that you're saving money as a result of adaptation strategies and actions? And that has to be built into, into these plans. You, you can't do your budget uh, piece by piece and then say, well, okay, we're done because you gotta add it all together because that's the part that really, really brings the, uh, that's the part that counts. There's only so much money to go around and what the asset management process does, including the building and climate change and some of those actions, will help the municipalities have the information to make those trade-off decisions and to go to the public with them. The public may choose to protect their property by a dike as opposed to have a new transit line. One of the key components to having this strategy actually work for the city is incorporating it into the um, regular business planning process of the city. We've introduced about 15 tactics to our business planning process and set timelines and budget values. Um, and so all of these actions are identifying or are addressing risks that we've identified in our strategy. And it's the beginning steps of um, rolling these programs out so that we can prepare ourselves. So this is going to get worked into our long-term budget and that's how you really, I think, move it from a strategy on a table into action. And those actions are, um, they can be very small steps for certain communities and other communities that have more capacity, maybe they can move forward with a number of those actions simultaneously, um, but it really is a process of continuous improvement over time. And often in making those changes, it's not just improving the resilience to climate change, it's improving the quality of life at a number of different levels for, for the communities and of course then that um, works up through all the different levels and up to, up to the federal level. And there usually is no straightforward answer. It really does depend on the community, the community's priorities and needs and uh, what residents and businesses owners um, find value in and what they're willing to, to pay for. We have to make sure that all of the stuff we're doing is transferable to the smallest community as well as the very largest and that's where we want to leverage the resources from other areas in Canada and other municipalities in order to be able to do that. There's collaboration uh, on a regional basis or provincial basis or national basis. Uh, the analogy I like to bring is that we're all in the canoe together and if we can all have a paddle and be all paddling in the same direction, we're just so much more incredibly much more productive.